What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and I got a little bit of a different video for you guys today. Today we're going to look at the co we're going to get into a co-part auction and um, we're going to pick up well, we may pick up a vehicle, but we're looking at rental vehicles that are being offered through Copart and um, they're supposed to be inoperable. Now I'm going to tell you why that's huge. Um, depending on when this video comes out, we just won a vehicle like that that was not a run and drive, an enhanced vehicle, and we got it for 900 bucks. You'll see that in an upcoming video. But um, let's go ahead and get into this auction and see if there's anything that's good deal-wise that we can jump into right after the intro. <laughs> Right, guys so we are in here now some of these vehicles are listed as a inoperable vehicle meaning they run or they just don't drive now this one here these are all rental vehicles you can see this one got hit in the rear in the lane <clears throat> but we're going to look through and see if there's anything that's interesting that's coming up that 2022 silverado is definitely interesting sold on approval and that's coming up here in a minute Take a look at that. Yeah, that's not bad, I guess. We might have found today's thumbnail. New bidder. That's a start. So, I mean, you're probably looking at a rear axle, a bed, or whatever, but depending on what it goes for, that's not a bad deal. Sold on approval. Let's go back to it and see what it goes for. It is a start. You can see some of the damage. We'll scroll. Oof. Yeah, definitely a bed. Definitely an axle. Ooh, airbags. Cloth interior. It is. It does only have 2,400 miles on it, though. That's the thing. It is a 4x4, too. Huh. You might have to do a little framework to it. I figure this truck goes for less than 17. It could be a decent deal. Because you could get a bed... You could find a used axle, you know. Sold on approval. That's a good deal. I really do. I feel like that was a really good deal. Now, some of these rental cars are just absolutely destroyed. Like this hamster mobile Kia Soul is completely done. Sold yeah, on approval. I don't approval. know who paid thirty five hundred for that, but you just you played yourself. Now, I bought one of these through Copart. We had a twenty twenty. Was it a 20 or 21? New I think bidder. it was a 20 Corolla. And it was actually pretty cool with the, you know, self-driving ability, you know, with the uh, cruise and whatnot. This one, ooh, even the, the donut is destroyed. Oof. So we're looking at hood, fender, door. It's not really that New bad. Bitter. And it's probably a, only a start because the CV axle in the front is probably torn out. Or broken at 12,000 miles. Anything under 15 on this, I think, is a good deal. This is a better lot. And the other reason why it's a good deal is it's a clean title. New bidder. You guys can see it says certificate of title, not salvage title, which means <clears throat> this thing is actually a pretty solid. This thing could be a pretty solid deal for somebody. For sure. Wow. That's not bad, really. I mean, it really isn't. That's really not not a bad car. Yeah, I know y'all are like, damn, look, look at TK getting his thumbnail stuff together already. <coughs> Bonus time. 14, like what did I say? Anything under 15 was good? Ugh. I mean, the retail value is 25. It's not going to cost that much to fix that car, I don't think. I think you still have some profitability there. Or if it's a car you want to keep, you, you, you're getting good value. It is clean title. So if you fix it, it might report an accident, but you can still get value out of it. Yeah, anything over this is too much. 
because you're looking at probably five grand in parts that's not including paint sold on approval and you got to have some money to you know some wiggle room there this nissan oh i had to say that's a negative for me let's look through the rest of the list i i did highlight this jeep uh, which was interesting to me and we got another silverado a 20 add that to the list that's actually not that bad sold on approval your right. watch item is next on the block <clears throat> this one's a pure sale as well and good another certificate of title meaning a clean title vehicle i'm not seeing any damage it might be just transmission damage yeah vehicle not in park is what it says so you know these things have this will sound crazy but these jeeps have um if this thing has the neutral strap sometimes people can pull that and it screws the vehicle up they can't ever get it back into like regular gear and then oh wait a minute there's the this interior. is a hot lot i don't know if it has a neutral strap or not but it could be that and it could just be that the shift cable is bad you know like it can become disconnected or broken so not the end of the world Bonus here on this time one. 44 000 miles 16 000. i don't know man i mean a jeep latitude is crap i mean they're crap they're not real jeeps man i'm sorry sold somebody get a good get something done with that though New bitter this one's a salvage title <clears throat> i have to go for about where it's at and eco sport yeah that's that's already too much what else we got coming up we got the silverado coming up we got a smashed camry we got a ram We got a Corolla. We got a 2020 Dodge Sold Durango on approval. GT. Your watch item is next on the block. <clears throat> Let's see what New the Silverado bidder. sells for. Because you know what? Yes, it does have three flat tires. I'm completely missing that one. Meaning it probably ran over something. Like a, a median, you know, a wired median or something like that. And it did blow the air back. This is a hot lot. Ooh, it did New shift bidder. the intake and everything, huh? 37 yeah you might have broke the steering rack i don't know y'all might be overbidding this one new bidder y'all might be overbidding that one <clears throat> 22 2 like, I thought this was a decent deal around, like, 18, man. But I think this is way too high right now. I mean, it is clean title. I will give it that. It does have a clean title. But I think, I, I mean, I'm looking at it. You're not probably looking at any body work, right? It's literally undercarriage stuff, undercarriage damage. It does start. So you probably broke a cake, you know, probably broke Bonus a shift cable. Time. Probably, that's the thing though, if it's four wheel drive too. It is, yep. Like you could have busted the diff, I don't know man. Sold on approval. I think that was a little too much. I think that was a little too much money. New bidder. I'm going to keep looking to see if there's anything else interesting that's coming up. I don't think there really Sold is. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what some of these vehicles are selling for. So you can see that there are some good deals if, you, if you're if you willing to go hunting for them. Now, this one here in Denver, this Mustang GT, must have been a Mustang that did Mustang things, huh? It got rear-ended. Where? Maybe the plastic line right there? Do you see the where the plastic doesn't line up? I see that. Y'all see that right there? I don't see... Oh, wait a minute. I see they have a line right there. So maybe it's a small buckle? Bonus time. 
I'm not seeing it. Okay, maybe it has damage, but that might be a clean up and fix car. 9,600, huh? Sold on approval. Oh, no. Junking certificate. Yep. New bidder. Wow, how did they get a junk title, man? Wow, They're, I mean, that damage is so minimal. But then again, people will say they look at my green monster and said the same thing. Well, why didn't they give him? Okay, you can see the swiping. That's a better photo. All right, you can see where the paint is all tripping there. Yeah. The this paint is all a hot chipped lot. and came up. Was it a bad repair? I'm going to guess it was a bad repair. Wow. <clears throat> well, we'll look at a couple more of these guys, but the purpose of today's video was just to show you guys that they do have some decent deals, especially on the renter car side, right? This Jeep is already way too damn high. I'm sorry. This ain't, I mean, it's a four cylinder Jeep. It's not even the six, it's a four. It's a four cylinder Jeep and it's smashed and you're paying 26. It is clean title though, that's what it is. It's the fact that it has a clean title. Cause somebody could mod this out. They could go ahead and throw a bigger motor in it. This could be a project Jeep, yeah. Yeah, I can see it. I don't know. Seems like too much to me, man. We'll see what this ramp goes for next, <clears throat> and then we'll get out of here. Bonus time. Wow, just twenty-seven two fifty for this Jeep. I mean, I get it because it's a twenty, but damn, and it's got forty-three thousand. Like this thing was being, they were driving Sold wheels approval. off that joint, man. Ram Classic. It does have the five seven V eight. No bitter. It's got the Hemi. Sold on approval. <clears throat> well, 9,800 for a Ram. I don't think that was bad, personally. That was probably a pretty decent deal. Camry. This one's got mechanical damage, which means like engine or transmission. Oh, well, duh. You wonder why it's got mechanical damage. Jesus. Sold on approval. So there you guys have it. There is, I mean, money-wise, I mean, a lot of these vehicles are new. They're within the last two or three years. So there are some good deals to be had that you can get through Copart that are rentals. A lot of these will say that they don't operate or they don't shift into gear. And it's something as stupid as a shift cable or like in my case, it was literally just uh, a relay and a couple of fuses and... Like I said, you'll get to see that in an upcoming video, I'm sure, because I think I'm going to publish this before we debut the other car. But <clears throat> with that said, I want to thank all of you guys very much for watching this bonus video today. And um, we have lots more content for you guys coming soon. I know January is usually not a really good month for YouTube, uh, but I'm still pushing out the content anyway because I want you guys to be able to have something to watch that you guys enjoy. And evidently, you guys enjoy this stuff, so I'm going to keep pushing it out. For the longest time, whoa, for the longest time, for the longest time, for the longest